Celebrities are just like us. Sometimes they get attracted to their co-workers and their on-screen romances turn into real-life love affairs. This list of actors and actresses had some pretty intense chemistry with their co-stars and it didn't take long for art to imitate life. Just wait until you see who Brad Pitt fell in love with on the set of a movie long before he married Angelina Jolie. You don't want to miss it. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we'll be showing you 10 on-screen couples who dated in real life. Sebastian Stan and Leighton Meester. Before tying the knot with Dan Humphrey on the show Gossip Girl, Serena Vander Woodson had a fling with Carter. Even though their on-screen romance didn't result in a happily ever after, the actors who portrayed the characters, Leighton Meester and Sebastian Stan, decided to give their real-life romance a shot. They seemed like the perfect couple in real life, but things weren't as rosy as they appeared. Following their breakup in 2010, Leighton wrote a song called Heartstrings, and many believed the track was all about Sebastian. During a live performance, Leighton said the song was about a heartbreak she went through. She called the breakup stupid, but also said it was really hard and really sad. She knew when things came to an end, she had to put her feelings down in the form of a song. The track is all about hiding your feelings and pretending you're happy when you're really not. So we guess it's safe to assume that either Sebastian or Leighton were faking the funk during their entire relationship. Our money's on Sebastian. Thankfully, Leighton was able to mend her broken heart and find love in a movie set. This time, she fell head over heels in love with her The Oranges co-star Adam Brody, and the two got married in 2014. Rachel Bilson and Adam Brody Speaking of Adam Brody, long before he and Leighton became husband and wife, he was involved in a relationship with another one of his co-stars. In 2003, Adam played the character Seth Cohen in the TV series The O.C. His on-screen girlfriend was the character Summer Roberts, played by actress Rachel Bilson. On camera, these two were the epitome of relationship goals. Every time they appeared in a scene together, viewers couldn't help but be mesmerized by their insane chemistry. Their relationship was full of ups and downs, but we always rooted for them, and we knew deep down down inside that their on-screen characters would end up together. So you can just imagine how fans of the show felt when Seth and Summer finally got married in a flash-forward scene. As adorable as they were on the show, it didn't take long for these two beautiful Hollywood stars to start dating in real life. They tried to keep their relationship low-key, but that was pretty much impossible for them to do. Rachel gave an interview to Teen People and said Adam was her best friend, and the two even lived together and adopted a pit bull terrier named Penny Lane. But sadly, their real-life romance crashed and burned. Rachel later said that being in a relationship with her co-star was invasive. She didn't mind being the center of attention as a television character, but having her relationship in the public eye was not her cup of tea. Just like Adam, Rachel moved on too. In 2007, she felt in love with her Jumper co-star Hayden Christensen. They even have a daughter together named Blair Rose. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. In 2002, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez starred as a couple in the film Jiggly. The film may have flopped, but that didn't stop them from giving love a shot. They didn't go public with their relationship until months after filming wrapped. But once they finally confirmed they were an item, it was the start of a crazy media frenzy that lasted for years. Everywhere they went, they were hounded by the paparazzi, and the entire world was obsessed with their relationship. It all seemed like a fairy tale. Two A-list Hollywood entertainers who were young, gorgeous, and rich. What more could you ask for? It didn't take long for the media to give the couple the name Benefer, and things looked to be heading in the right direction for the couple. They starred in another film together called Jersey Girl. Ben appeared in JLo's music video for the song Jenny from the Block, and she even dedicated a sentimental love song to him called Dear Ben. He later proposed with a 6.1 carat pink diamond ring, but in 2004, the couple called off their engagement and canceled their wedding. Weeks later, JLo reunited with her ex, singer Mark Anthony, and the two got married after a few months of dating. We'll never know what Benefer would have become if they were able to work out their differences, and maybe their relationship would have been successful if they had kept things more private. JLo stated in an interview that they didn't try to have a public relationship, but the paparazzi and all the media attention put a lot of unnecessary pressure on their romance. Penn Badgley and Blake Lively. Love was definitely in the air on the set of Gossip Girl. Leighton Meester wasn't the only actress who fell in love with her on-screen love interest. Blake Lively fell for her TV boyfriend too. When Blake met actor Penn Badgley, it was love at first sight. When they decided to take their on-screen romance offset, it made working together so much more exciting. 
According to Penn, who played the character Dan Humphrey, he said his most memorable on-screen makeout sessions were during the times he filmed with Blake. The passion they had for each other in real life oozed into each and every scene. But once they broke up, the former couple was forced to continue filming with each other and playing the part of an in-love and happy couple. They tried to keep things professional after their relationship went sour, and Penn said they both deserved a pat on the back for being able to continue successfully playing their on-screen characters without any drama. Even though their characters ended up getting married on the show, Blake went on to marry someone else in real life. We think it's awesome that they were able to remain friendly after their breakup. It's just too bad we can't say the same about the next couple on our list. Mark Salling and Naya Rivera while most of the couples on our list were able to part ways amicably when things came to an end, the complete opposite happened with actress Naya Rivera and Mark Salling. The two met on the set of Glee when their characters, Noah Puckerman and Santana Lopez, had a brief hookup. Their characters' attraction to each other was pretty obvious. It was the typical jock and cheerleader relationship with a lot of steamy on-camera scenes. Their on-screen romance was more of a fling than a full-blown relationship, and the same can be said about their off-camera hookup. Mark said he and Naya were never in an exclusive relationship, but we think Naya would definitely beg to differ. She reportedly read gossip articles about Mark hanging out with other girls, and she allegedly went crazy. Reports stated that Naya gathered up a group of her besties and headed out to the local grocery store to buy some eggs. The group of friends were reportedly laughing hysterically the entire time they were making their purchase. When they finally bought the eggs, they headed out to locate Mark's pricey Lexus. Then, they proceeded to scrape the luxury vehicle with their keys and cover it with eggs. We guess this is one of the reasons why people always say it's not such a good idea to mix business with pleasure. Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie Kit Harrington revealed he fell in love in Iceland when he met actress Rose Leslie while they were filming the show Game of Thrones. Rose's character was a woman of free folk, and she later became the lover of Kit's character, Jon Snow. Although her character later died in his arms, their real-life relationship lived on. The secret to keeping the spark alive may very well be their dedication to keeping their relationship a secret as far away from the public eye. They dodged relationship questions for a very long time, and they were never spotted out and about together. They they barely made their first red carpet debut back in 2016 at the Oliver Awards in London, and of course, Game of Thrones fans went absolutely wild. Kit and Rose have since popped up in a few Hollywood events here and there, and each time, they look absolutely adorable together. Even though they've finally confirmed that they're an item, they still like to keep the intimate details of their relationship on the hush-hush. Kit did give fans a peek inside their relationship when he confirmed that their romance is moving ahead nicely, and they even moved in together. Something tells us this is one off-screen romance that has a really good chance of standing the test of time. Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Pitt Long before Brad Pitt fell in love with Angelina Jolie while filming Mr. and Mrs. Smith, he was gushing over another one of his movie co-stars. While filming the detective movie Seven, Brad's character was married to a woman named Tracy, and Tracy was played by none other than Gwyneth Paltrow. Their professional relationship soon turned into a Hollywood romance when Gwyneth and Brad quickly fell for each other. Their real-life relationship moved at lightning speed, and the two couldn't stop talking about how much in love they were. After two years of dating, Brad popped the question, and of course, Gwen said yes. During an interview, the actor said their proposal was one of the greatest moments of his life. As for Gwyneth, she stated that she fell in love with Brad because of how sweet he was, but she didn't deny that his good looks also drew her in. She also seemed to be really mesmerized that someone as hunky as Brad was so in love with her. Sadly, their off-screen relationship came to an end when they called off their engagement and ended their relationship in 1997. Looking back on their time together, Gwen admitted she was too young, and she just wasn't ready for a serious relationship. They've both since moved on, but who knows? Now that they're much older and more mature, maybe there's a chance these two will reignite the flame. Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone in the film The Amazing Spider-Man, the characters Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy meet in high school and fall in love. There are numerous lovey-dovey scenes between these two characters, and they share numerous on-camera makeout sessions. The actors who portrayed the characters, Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone, had to spend a lot of time together on set, and it didn't take long for them to turn their friendship into romance. But first, they had to get rid of their current partners. Emma broke up with her boyfriend, Kieran Culkin, and a month later, Andrew ended his three-year relationship. Even though they were single and ready to mingle, they were pros at keeping their relationship on the down low. No one really knew if they were actually dating or not, but there was a lot of speculation, of course. Finally, in March 2012, the couple popped up in New York together and were spotted holding hands and locking lips. 
They finally made their red carpet debut as a couple back in April 2012 at the Kids' Choice Awards, and that's when Andrew let the cat out of the bag. He told reporters that he felt an instant connection with Emma when they first auditioned for the film, and the rest was history. The two have had an on-again, off-again relationship ever since, but we still have hope that one day they'll be reunited. Nick Zano and Kat Dennings Kat Dennings' character on Two Broke Girls had a huge crush on Nick Zano's character. But after a few seasons, their characters decided things weren't going to work out, so they went their separate ways. Just like other celebs on our list, their on-screen crush turned into a real-life romance. It didn't take long for them to realize they had feelings for each other away from the cameras, and they started to hang out a lot in their free time. As photos of the two hanging out started to make their way onto the internet, an insider gave a statement to a magazine and said Kat and Nick were getting to know each other away from the TV set. They weren't technically in an exclusive relationship, but they were enjoying each other's company and having a ton of fun. Photos of the couple at a basketball game showed them looking super cozy and very adorable together. They clearly made a beautiful couple, but unfortunately, it didn't last very long at all. Just like their TV relationship, their real-life romance went up in flames and Nick and Kat decided to finally go their separate ways. Kat later found love and had a two-year relationship with Josh Groban, and Nick had a baby boy with actress Leah Renee. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt. Riverdale debuted in 2017, and it didn't take long for one of the show's on-screen couples to become an off-screen item. Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt's characters, Jughead Jones and Betty Cooper, started off as just friends, but their attraction towards each other began to unfold when they began investigating the passing of character Jason Blossom. After spending a lot of time together, their characters eventually hooked up, and fans were happy to hear that they were a real-life couple too. But honestly, it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out Cole and Lily had a thing going on. One look at their social media feeds and you could see their relationship unfold through each and every picture. Fans started to notice that Cole and Lily were spending a lot of their free time together. And whenever the two actors would pose for a photo, they literally couldn't keep their hands off of each other. They looked like an official couple, however, they didn't confirm it to the press right away. But when a picture was posted of Lily hanging out with Cole and his brother Dylan, everyone knew that things were most definitely getting serious. Do you think Cole and Lily make the cutest couple ever? Make sure to leave your reply in the comments section. And that's it for 10 on-screen couples who dated in real life. Be sure to check out our friends at The Trendy to see more cool videos for teenagers. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it!